Well, I've already shuffled, and what we'll be going through today is the recent past, the present, the challenge, and the outcome. So Taurus, in the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Now with this Ace of Swords, you probably had a new beginning or a new relationship in the recent past, or it could have just been a new beginning on several fronts. This new beginning, it would have started by a possible separation. It could have been bought from a relationship, from a job, from a situation. Um, just know that as anxiety producing as it was, or can be, underneath it all was a good beneficial energy taking, to, taking you to where you really wanted to go or needed to be. Uh, this Ace of Swords, it calls on us to take a leap if it's in our best interest. It's paired with the Eight of Swords. Now, you could have been holding yourself back because you feared moving into the future. Or because you were afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could have been for no reason at all. You needed to think through what it was you were afraid of at that time. Because what I'm showing in this picture, the truth of the situation was probably much less frightening than your mind was making it out to be. Because this man, he's surrounded by all these swords. There's a fire behind him. And he's basically just stuck in his head. So he's, um, whatever the situation was, like I said, it was probably less frightening than it, than he was thinking that it was. So maybe you were re-evaluating a relationship or sticking with someone that was bad for you at that time because you thought any, something was better than nothing. Could have been something like that or maybe you were just afraid of getting hurt. But it's with this Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords and Eight of Swords for your recent past. Like I said, you had some type of new beginning coming up. Maybe it was a new relationship, but it made you really fearful. You were afraid to move a, move on or move towards this new this new beginning. You felt like it was a ch challenge for you, like you were facing a challenge for this new beginning. So you probably put a stop to it. There was some new beginning, and you. You probably didn't go for it because you were stuck in your head. So that's what I got for the recent past. Now let's talk about the present time. So coming up for April, you got this chariot and the page of wands. Now, the chariot, it's about um, a lot of energy. As you can see, this chariot, it's taken off. This horse is not even, he doesn't even have his feet on the ground. It's in the air. It's above the ground, put it that way. So it's about a lot of energy. It's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So you'll probably be fairly clear on what you're hoping and dreaming about and what you're willing to do to make things come true. Now this card is about determination and ambition and getting a lot of things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should definitely move forward with whatever, whatever it is you have in mind and in your heart. Give it your best shot. Remember though, you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart, your head and your heart, in order to truly be successful. So. If we're talking about a, a relationship or a partnership, you could be tempted to go too far, too fast, or someone is pressuring you that way. That's what happens with the chariot. Now, it's paired with this page of wands. 
Now the page of wands is about warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not a person, it indicates that you might have a lot of um, energy or indicating the energy of easy distraction, put it that way. You could be easily distracted coming up in April. So you're going to have to try to stay focused. So something that you started some time ago could be starting to come to fruition. Starting to come to life. It's also showing in this picture that there's a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. This card, it brings, it brings a very positive energy. Yeah, you see he's smiling and he's looking up at the birds. So it's a very positive energy. But with this card, you're going to have to supply the follow through. There could be some type of, also with this card, some type of message of love that's coming, coming your way. And if you're single, Taurus, there's someone new who you have a lot in common with. And they'll be very adventuresome. They could be about to step into your world with this page of wands. So basically for the present time, the page of wands, chariot, you're going to have a lot of, um, well, you could be easily distracted. So you're going to, there's going to be a need for you to stay focused. So you have a lot of passion and will to explore. Like I said, there could be someone coming in with a message of love as the Page of Wands. And this will all be happening really fast. Really fast. Or you could be planning, planning something with this chariot. And like I said, you're gonna have to use your head and your heart and stay focused. Um, so you could be trying to accomplish something, but you may be going too far too fast. Yeah, like I said, the chariot is going really fast. So you'll be having a lot of energy, and you have a goal in mind. Um, but you have to try to stay focused, because you could get easily distracted with this page of wands showing up in your reading. Yeah. You may feel like you're going in circles. That's how the Page of Wands can make you feel. Because you're going so fast. But you've got something in mind with this chariot. It's like I said, it's directed and it's controlled. And it has a goal in mind. You're very determined about something. But you can be easily distracted. So you got to take this as a warning. Maybe you want to write things down. People say that helps when you when you get easily distracted. So that's what we have for the present time. Let's take a look at the challenge. We got this beautiful Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Now the Ten of Cups is is one of the most uplifting cards. Well, it it is the one of well, a lot of people say it's the most uplifting card in the tarot. This card it points to happiness. Probably in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a really good card. It speaks about a happy family life, even if you're single. And you know, to the general well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to, a, to include those that you're concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, children, and much more. Also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture. This is a really good card to see regardless of any questions. Ten of Cups is a tops. It's a wish fulfillment. So, if you're in a relationship with this card, it's showing that you really don't have anything to worry about. You could become more committed. So don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any keep that in mind. Now this Ten of Cups is with the Seven of Swords. Now this card, if you can, you can easily look at it and tell 
that it's dealing with someone who is behaving with less than in, less than ethical intentions. Probably prying into someone's life where you don't belong. And if you sense that someone is doing this to you or spying on you, then you're probably right, Taurus. Also, on the other hand, if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. You could be in a relationship that you're not trusting also with this Seven of Swords. You may be very suspicious. So for your challenge, Ten of Cups and Seven of Swords, it's, it's showing that someone could be stalking you or spying in on you, maybe using games, strategy, manipulation. But with the Ten of Cups, overall everything is, is really good. Everything is going well. You're going to feel like a dream has come true. And it could be someone is watching you and they just want to know, well, why are things working out so well for you when I'm sitting over here feeling like a ton of bricks just fell on my head? Somebody's just trying to figure out why? Why are you so happy and, and everything? You've got everything going on when, you know, someone wants to know why, is, why, is, why, is things, why are things so great for you right now? Uh, why aren't you struggling like I'm struggling? So somebody's watching you and they just don't get it. So they just have to stare. Yeah. So they want to know what are you doing that they're not doing. And maybe they're jealous, but they're watching you. Taurus, they want to know why you got it all together and they don't. So that's what that is. Now, that's going to be your challenge. Now let's take a look at the outcome. We got this Four of Pentacles. And then we got Justice here. Now the Four of Pentacles is a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it is healthy. Longer than it's realistic. So, it's a sign that you're going to have to look carefully at what you're clinging to. And whether others are clinging to you in an, in an unhealthy way. This Four of Pentacles is about anxiety, fear. Could be about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So the key is to try to realize being anxious and grasping, it's, it's not going to bring you any security. It's paired with justice. Justice is about the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. So you have to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a, is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about, or it could be an ancestor, someone who's dead and gone. And I don't know if you're religious, but the Bible says if you... Um, what does it say? I'm going to mess up this the same but a lot of curses that we have it's from a lot of us will be cursed because of people from the past like like people that you know family that we haven't even met before because they're dead and gone you know karma carries over it goes it just keeps going until there's justice or in, until um, the karma is, is completed. So we're dealing with karma or curses that are put on to us from our ancestors a lot of times. So sometimes we'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about or, some, or from some family member that we never met before that's dead and gone. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're involved 
in a court case. It will be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So that explains justice. And it's paired with this four of pinnacles for your outcome. So there's something that you find out. Something is not bringing you some clarity, some truth. Yeah. You want to get some clarity or some type of truth. Or something could be coming back to you from something that you put out to the universe. And it's kind of, it come, when karma comes back, it comes back that some people say three times as big or ten times as big. But hopefully you've been putting out good to the universe because right now is when it comes back to you. Okay? A lot of stuff is coming in. And, but this justice is going to uh, bring you, like I said, some insight, some truth. So it looks like you're going to be holding on really firm to whatever. You're going to be holding on to something really tight. You're going to be resistant to change. Resistant to change. You could be holding on to money. Because he's on all fours. He's got his hands and his feet on his money. The pinnacle stands for money, cash, coins. So you're holding on really tight in an unhealthy way. In an unhealthy way. Um, maybe you just found out something. And you're holding on really tight. Hmm. And you're holding on, um, well, it looks like out of fear because this man's eyes, it looks like it's about, his eyes looks like they're about to pop out of his head. So you're clinging on really tight to, so I'm going to say something because it could be a situation, it could be a person in an unhealthy way. I don't. I don't like this card. And you get some truth about something. With this justice. So you found out something and oh, now you're holding on really tight. Uh, I'm trying to give you an, another example. Let me see. I'm just going to give you another example. Give me, give me a minute. If you're single, Taurus, with this justice card, a commitment could be coming your way. But you have to stay clear on what you want most from this relationship. So that's with the judgment. If you're single, there's someone coming in. And it looks like you're, you could be fearful of this connection. So you're resistant to the change that this connection can bring. That's another example of these two cards paired together. Okay? I put it in the context of love or relationships. So, like I said, that's another example. Someone's coming in if you're single with justice, but you don't want this change that it's going to bring. So, you're resistant. So, that's another example. Like I said, I wanted to give you another example instead of saying you're going to be clinging on to your money in an unhealthy way. And then you've got um, karma coming in that's bringing you some type of clarity. Okay, so that's one example of these two cards. And then I gave you another example. So just take it for whatever way you feel could, you feel that it might fit into your situation or life, okay? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Um, the good thing in this reading, 
I just wanted to add this note is that Ten of Cups, like I said, that's the best card in the in the deck. Ten of Cups, everyone wants that card. So, yeah. So, you can't go wrong with that one. Just be careful, you're going to start to cling on to, to um, some situation in an unhealthy way. It could be this... Uh, this new person that's that could be coming in with justice maybe you're going to cling on to them I don't know what that is but um, just focus on that ten of cups okay so thank you so very much for watching I really appreciate it please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I hope that 2020 is going well for you I hope April is a uh, wonderful month for you once again thank you so very much for watching and have a great day 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 day